Hey guys, this is my follow-up to my Is the Splatoon 2 game worth it in 2022 video. I said I'd just quickly cover the Octo expansion in a separate one. And just to, you know, just give my opinion on whether you should bother picking it up, especially with Splatoon 3 on the horizon. And absolutely, yes, the Octo expansion is packed with single-player goodness. It also enables you to be able to play as an Octoling as opposed to an Inkling. Uh, I, the difference is you'll just be like an octopus person instead of a squid person but apart from that you do get some other cool weapons and some clothing and you know uh, gear and that kind of stuff but the single player content is uh, pretty much the highlights there's a lot of levels and each level has a different um objective for you to do using different weapons using different specials uh, taking on different puzzles and different challenges and of course there is a bit of a story there now interestingly enough um, I, I don't know if many people know this or not, but the Splatoon franchise does have a manga series. Uh, it's currently up to... Hang on, let me check my shelf. It's up to issue 13 at the moment, and issue 14 is coming out soon. They're dirt cheap on Amazon, and uh, yeah, they're pretty cool. They cover It does cover a lot of the game. It, some of the issues do seem a bit like advertisements for the game, because they even explain... Uh, again and again the rules before they fight in the manga but however um, I've read through the Octo expansion story in the manga so um, I, I kind of figured out what was going to happen before it happened but there is a cool story there and you do get a little bit more insight into the world of Splatoon and the lore um, that you know great characters are introduced into this octo expansion and like i said you get a uh, new weapons new gear loads of new single player levels which is worth picking up alone uh, just for that because the splatoon single player stuff is really really good um you know obviously the multiplayer is the absolute highlight and craning jewel but the single player stuff in splatoon i do enjoy and apparently with splatoon 3 they're doing a lot more with it so hopefully uh, it gets even better there, and we can get some, I don't know, I see, I reckon like a little bit of op an open worldness would work really well, being able to, because you know, they're putting in a lot of new movement options in with the weapons and stuff in Splatoon 3, so hopefully they do that. But yes, uh, I think the Octo Expansion is currently on offer on the eShop, um, and I think standard price alone, it's only 17, 18 quid here in the UK, and it us I picked it up for like £12 something when it went on offer. And I don't regret it. I, you, you will definitely get your money's worth out of it. And it does nothing but add to the awesomeness that is Splatoon 2. It's not just like a cash grab DLC, which a lot of DLCs can be these days. But anyway, I just wanted to make this quick video just saying, yes, go for it, do it. Obviously, only if you like Splatoon. If you don't like Splatoon, then why? Just why? Why are you even watching this video, you know? It's just crazy. But thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.